Hi, it's Shay Veronica. If there's one thing you need to remember is it's always going to be your fault if you end up being killed by the man you slept with, okay? If he ever kills you, remember the story he's going to tell the world, the story he's going to tell the police, the story that is going to be printed in the news is going to detail him saying, it was all your fault. Like this guy calling Reefer when he killed his wife, Cheryl. I think you remember her. He claimed that she was beating him up. He claimed that Cheryl, born Reefer, was beating him up. He killed her and went to the bar. He went to the bar, the rum, the rum shop, and... When he returned from the rum shop and he saw the cops and everyone around his house, he tried to speed off and her brother stopped him, had to collide with him to stop him. Like, okay, why are you running? Oh, I, I was scared. I was terrified. Why are you scared and terrified? Well, my wife was beating me up and I had to like try to protect myself. It's always a situation where it's the woman's fault. It's not that he was abusive. It's not that he was a cheater. It's not that he was lying to her. It wasn't that, you know, nothing about him. Nothing about him. When you sleep with a man and he decides to kill you, remember, it's all your fault, okay? At least he admitted to the killing. He admitted to the killing. But he said, I didn't mean to do it. Another thing that they do easily, very easily, they didn't mean to kill you. How could you not mean to kill someone and you killed them? How could you strangle someone, hold your hand on their throat long enough that they stop breathing, but you didn't mean to do it? He is before Christopher Birch. Weak, judge. Weak. You know, Christopher is not going to throw the book at him we already know that so we have to wait now to february 24th when he returns to court for sentencing to see what christopher birch is going to give this guy that single-handedly choked a woman to death and went to the rum shop had a couple rums came back tried to outrun people when they saw that that he that people were already congregated around his house you know after he killed the wife and propped her up in the bathroom with towels he's going to now be before birch to see how much time birch is going to give him after he's there crying saying Oh, she was beating the hell out of me. She was beating me up. She was beating me. She was hurting me. She was hurting me. He killed Cheryl. He killed Cheryl. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. And when you're dead, there's no one. There's no one that can speak for you. You cannot speak for yourself and no one can speak for you because you're dead. Who's going to say what a good person Cheryl is? Who's going to say how she was a beautiful woman? A beautiful woman. Who's going to say that about her? Well, I guess her family could show up and say that about her. But all he, the husband that she was married to and she slept with, is going to say is, she was beating the hell out of me and I was defending myself. She was beating the hell out of me and I was defending myself. That's what you get. That's what you get when you marry subpar. When you marry subpar and you end up dead. The person is going to say it was your fault. It was your fault. Colin, Reefer, we have to wait later on this month to see how the weak judge, how much time the weak justice is going to give him. Sheriff Veronica.